Hey everyone, I created a little project on GitHub, on my GitHub, and uh, I think I wanted to share it with you because you might be interested. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. So one of the favorite things of the community is to make those little NeoFetch print screen and share it with everyone. So don't pretend you don't know what it is, and if you actually really don't know what it is, it's time to install NeoFetch on your Linux distro right now. Because when you're gonna start that, you're gonna be totally addicted, like for life. Like there is no way out, out of NeoFetch or, like th there is just no way out, there is no alternative. So what is it exactly? NeoFetch is a little like application you will install and through your terminal, it's gonna display all the little detail about the operating system, software, and hardware you have on your actual machine. But it's going to do it in a really like nice way. So to, to give you an example, this is not mine. Uh, you can see like all the info here and this wonderful like little painting here. But you get the idea, right? You install your favorite distro and boom, install NeoFetch and you can have all the info to share with your buddies. So on multiple Discord I've been in, everybody is doing that. It's like, oh, look what I've installed. Mm, look my no fetch. Ho, ho, ho. But there is something, something which was missing. And in my opinion, the most important thing, what was missing is when you installed your actual distro. Because most of the time, you know, it's good to show off about how much RAM you are using or, or like what type of graphic card you have or what type of CPU you have or how hard the distro uh, you are using is, you know. But it doesn't tell you the full story until you tell like you have been running this distro for how many days, how many months, or even better, how many years. And this is where my little config file comes. So just to be super clear, I'm not a dev. I'm, I'm, I'm a total baguette, if I, if I should say, when it comes to coding or developing anything. Like I have no background. I, I never learned that uh, at school. But everything is available online. And when I say everything, it's literally everything. So I start to look about like ways to print the actual installation date within Linux. And I found a command which will work, I believe, on all the distribution. And I put that inside a config file for NeoFetch. And then I made like, some little like calculus. Like you can find ways to do that like everywhere on the internet with time. And uh, yeah, I did it. So now I'm going to show you right now on my config. So this is my, my terminal right now. I'm going to clean it and I'm going to type the special uh, command for calling the, the configuration on my NeoFetch. And if I click here, so I'm, I'm going to have to zoom here. But you can see like this is exactly the same as uh, the one here. And you will have the date the distro has been installed. So for in my case, it's been the 25th of October, 2023. And here, how many days you have been running the distro? 75 days on 30 days. So the challenge, so just to go back to this special config, I've been doing a lot of challenges for the last, like if we say like five months. And what I do with a group of friends, we're installing a Linux distribution and we try to use it as our daily driver. With this NeoFetch, it will be super easy for us to see for how long we have been running the distro by just like, you know, typing the command. So this is this is it, guys. So obviously, like there is nothing crazy. I'm pretty sure like any of you guys, you were, could have been maybe able to do it. You know, if you are a dev or if you know what you are doing. But here I, I created this little like repo here. I did transfer it to the organization of gaming Linux uh, France for them to host it because obviously like it's all themed for this specific challenge. I called it GLF fetch 
we're still discussing right now if it would be better to just be like GLF H, like GL fetch. I don't know, like, you know, it's just like different detail. And I did also like a, a little like installation tutorial here. Uh, I obviously like inspired myself uh, from another uh, GitHub repository here uh, called uh, NeoFetch theme because I'm also not a riser. So what you see here is me like just like pushing some of my uh, scripts within an existing like theme. I did some modification, but as always, you know, like if someone um, created the base of what I've been doing, I I'm going to uh, do a big shout out uh, to those person. So here, like the base theme is from uh, Ghost XRGXX. Okay, like it's called like a simple fetch uh, theme. There is a lot, I think, to do for this specific script because we could, I, I believe we could push it a little bit further. I had a lot of ideas. I just don't have, don't have the technical background to push it further. But to give you an idea, what I would love to do is um, find an easy way to get access to the icon, icon on the terminal here. So those icons, they, they actually pop out when I use it on, on my Arch distro. And I think it's pretty easy to, to install those icons on, on Arch. But right now I'm doing another challenge on Debian and I couldn't figure it out how to install like those little icon. I know I suck, but I never done that before. So I don't know if, if you know the solution, like put it in the comment below. I'm, I'm going to update that right away. But until then, because I still want the script to work, I kind of like remove them. So the output will be a little bit different from what I'm showing here. Also love like fast fetch, a little bit better than neo fetch because it's just faster on my machine at least. So I was like, could I create this script on fast fetch? And when I went on the fast fetch like wiki and tried to understand how to theme it and include some type of like variable in it, I was totally lost. So I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. But maybe for one of you guys, it's going to be easier. I don't know. If it is, like, don't hesitate to, you know, create a, a pull request. So what you would have to do here is just fork the whole project, which is, like, two files, really. Update it and, and push a, a pull request. Like that, you know, we could maybe, like, move the whole project to fast fetch. I think it might be better. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Also, like, there is some type of output color I could, you know, like, improve there, make it a little bit, like, you know, fancier. I don't know, just a fart there. And also, what I would love to see is, like, uh, add some type of line which will pop up only if you pass the 30 days challenge here with the if type of, like, print here. I don't know how to do it. I have an idea how to do it, but maybe you guys could do it way faster than me. Oh, I don't even know if it's possible. And also, like, put some type of progress bar under, you know? Like, if you are on day one, on 30, you will have, like, one little bar. And when you are at the max, it will be, like, 30 bar on, on 30, for example. But you get the idea. So, I, I, I believe this is what is wonderful with the world of Linux. You, even if you if you suck like me, because, you know, I, I have to share it with you. Like, I'm, I'm not a coder. I'm, I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat that. I can, like, tweak... That's for sure. I can tweak a lot of things on my distro. But when you come to like start with a white sheet and then like start to code, I kind of like I'm stuck there. So obviously I did that, but it took me like hours. Maybe for some of you guys, it will take like seconds. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating my skills there. But you get the idea. What we need right now is you guys to test it. See how it goes. See if I made like, you know, some little mistakes there in um, the, the tutorial, see everything work on your hand, on your distro, and see how we can make it better. But yeah, that's the idea. I hope uh, this little script is gonna, is gonna help you. And if it did, uh, don't hesitate to give a thumb up uh, to this video. Uh, subscribe, because the channel is, is booming those days, and I want you to be uh, part of it. Also, if you want to finance uh, the channel itself, I have a Patreon and I also have a, a YouTube membership right now. So don't hesitate to go there and, and uh, support the channel financially. It will really help. 
I want to also thank everyone who is uh, doing it right now. Guys, you are the best. And yeah, that's all. That's all, that's all. We'll see how it goes uh, for the next challenge and see if I can have uh, that many days on my next uh, distro. Actually, it's going to be Debian. I love this distro. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bisous, bisous.